welcome back to another video uh, in this video I'm going to be doing a load test on my four sunny island SMA inverters 6,000 watt inverters or 6 kilowatt inverters and we'll see um, how they handle the loads but uh, before we move on I would like to make an announcement that um, if you made a comment on my last video if you made a comment you have won yourself a silver one comment by Friday the 19th go ahead and send me your contact information through the email address that you will find um, under about on my channel go ahead and send me your contact information and then I will put the silver coin in the mail for you again I have a four six kilowatt uh, sunny island inverters and I'm going to be putting them to test let a uh, load testing them to see how they handle the loads in our house can they stand all the loads so here are the four inverters inverter number one inverter number two sunny island inverter number three and sunny island inverter number four you can see right now uh number four is drawing about two 270 watts right now and number three is drawing a 170 watts or 0.18 kilowatts number two is drawing uh let's see is drawing about 0.27 kilowatts which is 270 watts and number one is drawing 0.1 or 100 watts for a total of uh, for a total in total all four of them are drawing zero 0.8 kilowatts which is 800 watts uh, so this is the basic load in the house right now the lights um, we got the lights we have the computers whatever is plugged in the refrigerator we have one deep freezer the TV all those loads that are running right now in the house they are drawing uh, point 0.8 kilowatts or three or 800 um, watts right now I mean 800 watts and that is divided by you know equally amongst all the four sunny island um, inverters so I'm gonna go upstairs and and start some loads and we'll see um, what happens The first thing I'm gonna do is turn on the AC, put it on. Just gonna lower the temperature to was at 80, so I'm gonna put it at 77. So it will start running. All right. So the AC is running. I'm not sure if you can hear the compressor outside, um, but now we'll go. So now that I've turned the AC on, you will see that the total inverter kilowatts has increased from, it was at 800 watts, now it's at 5,000 or 5,100 watts or 5.1 um, kilowatts. Now the AC is on right now, right? the AC is on. This is a five ton air conditioning, air, air compressor that cools our entire home. Uh, so that is the total uh, power that is being drawn when the AC is on. And this inverter by itself, this inverter is only contributing 1000 watts or 1.0 kilowatts. Inverter number two, is contributing 1.3 uh, 
for eight kilowatts. Remember, this is a six thousand kilowatt inverter. These are these are all six thousand kilowatt inverters. So they are not anywhere close to their total. Um, this one is at. If I could bring it up, this one is is drawing. Oh, it's drawing 2.58 kilowatts, and this one 2.9. All right, now that the AC is on, I'm gonna go back up and turn more loads on, and we'll see what happens. I'm in the laundry room and the AC is still running. I'm gonna turn on our load. We have a load of laundry. I'm gonna turn this on. So we have the washer going and we'll see how much power it draws. And at the same time you can hear so the water is running now. At the same time we have a load of uh, in a dryer, we're gonna turn that on. So, all right. So, the washer and dryer are running now. Let's go down and see how much power uh, we are drawing. With the air conditioning running, the washer and dryer both running, right now all four inverters are drawing 18 kilowatts or 17,000 or 18,000 watts, 17 kilowatts. This is the master, so I can always see how much all of them are drawing. So this one, all four Sunny Island inverters right now with the air conditioning on, washer and dryer both on, they are drawing um, 17,000, almost 18,000 kilowatts, 80, 18 kilowatts. Um, let's see, as you can see, let me see some other things. Compact. You can see they are actually drawing 668 amps from the battery at 48 volt. Six, 368.2 amps at six, you know, at um, at 48 volt. So that's what the, the the, the, the inverters are drawing uh, from the battery. You see, this one is at 4.53. This one is at 4. Point, that was 4. Point, uh, 4.42. And this one is at 4.3. So that's not, um, that's not the, you know, they are they are rated at 6,000 watts. So four point, we still have 2,000 watts more to go from each inverter. Um, it's, let's see, total at, Let's see what the total is. 16.4, 16.4. We can go up to 24,000 watts or 24 kilowatts. Let me turn on some more, um, some more loads in the house. Let me say bake. And that's a 350 degrees and I'm gonna say start all right so I have turned on the oven in the kitchen on and we will go see how 
All right, with the oven on now, we are drawing 21 kilowatts total among all four inverters. Uh, that, that's total. This one is at 5.5, which the maximum is at 6. This one is at 5. Let me go to meters. Inverter meters, device. It is at 5.5. This one is at 5.5. This one is at 5.2. This one is at 5.4. So that is with the air conditioning on, washer on, dryer on, and kitchen oven on. Now I am gonna run the water. When I run, I'm gonna run hot water. That way our hot water electric will come on and the well pump will kick on. Then we'll see how much power we're drawing. Now you can hear actually the fans in these inverters are, co are coming on now. I'm not sure if you can hear them. They rarely come on. But when they're drawing quite a bit of energy, you can hear them um, come on. All right, I'm out in the kitchen. I'm gonna turn on the hot water on. That way, the electric water heater will, oh, that's cold. This is the hot water. The electric hot water heater will kick on and uh, the well pump uh, will kick on. I'll let that keep running and then go check how much energy we are drawing now. All right, so this is our electric water heater out in the basement. And then uh, this is the well, this is the electrical cord to the well. Electricity going into the well, so and that's our water pump right from the well. So let's go check out, as you can see, the lower element is on. Power is on, the lower element is on, so it is working to heat, um, heat the water. Let's go see what the energy is reading now. With the AC on, washer and dryer on, kitchen oven on, and every other load in the house. There is nothing is not running right now. All the computers are plugged in, um, the refrigerator, deep freezer, everything is plugged on. And we, among the four Sunny Island inverters, which are 6,000 watts each, we are only drawing a total of right now 13.4 that is like just two of them you know 13.4 kilowatts and they can draw up to uh, they can draw up to 24 kilowatts so let me see this one is at 3.2 this one is at 2.8. This one is at 3.2. Uh, for a total of, let's see, for a total of 11.9 uh, kilowatts right now. So with every single load that I can find in the house, we are not anywhere. This kind of goes up and down anywhere from 11 kilowatts to 21 kilowatts uh, because you know, the, the oven kind of kicks on and off and also the dryer also does the same thing. It kicks on and off, the well is on, it keeps 
you know it kicks back and forth on and off the electric water heater is on and running it kicks back and forth so that's why we're just having a fluctuation of how much power we are drawing between you know 11 to 21 kilowatts not anywhere close to the total amount of energy these four sunny island inverters sma sunny island inverters are able um, to produce continuously they can produce continuously up to um 24 kilowatt hours continuously and then they can produce each of them 8,000 watts or 8 kilowatts continuously for 30 minutes if I had that kind of load to try and run but I obviously don't have that kind of learning it does seem that I kind of overshoot short on how much um, how many inverters you know I, I installed originally I had only two one and two but then I said let me add two more that way will I will have absolute absolute power you see this one is at let's see this one is at 2.8 is rated for six this one is at uh this one has 3.2 rated at six this one right now is at 3.04 for a total of 11.9 this one is at right. so with all the loads that i have in the house running I'm not even anywhere close to um, the amount of energy that these four inverters will pro uh, produce. Remember, it's nighttime right now. The sun is not outside. As you can see, the sunny, uh, the sunny boys that convert energy from DC to AC, they're sleeping right now. No, no energy products, production. So right now we're just running on battery power, battery power.